What's up everybody, this is Blockus and today I'll be showing you how to build a wireless redstone strength detector using Create.3's redstone link. And honestly I think these redstone links are an extremely underrated feature of this mod because they could very well be one of the coolest things ever added to Minecraft. Now before I get started, I wanted to mention that due to popular demand, I went ahead and changed my field of view to normal. Which was a little bit harder to use for me at first, but then I started using this extendo grip, which is another cool Create.3 feature that lets you reach things from farther away. So that gave me a little bit of a better field of view. So with that, I hope that you can enjoy my videos without having nausea, as has been reported by some of my viewers. And now I think we can go ahead and take a look at this wireless redstone signal strength detector. So I have this adjustable lever right here, which we can flick on to give a signal strength of one. And as you see, the first lamp comes on. And then if we increase the signal strength with the same lever, you'll see the signal strength decoder working properly. And this is all that you need it to do. So one thing I want to tell you is that this is not an original design, but it is actually based on a very traditional looking signal strength decoder, which is this one. And I'm sure that you've seen this one in a lot of places before. So I decided to explain this one a little bit to you so that you'll know how that other one is working without any issues. Basically, if you flick the lever here, you get a signal strength of one and you see the first redstone piece powered on. And now if we look down there, we'll see this piston pulling power, I'm sorry, the repeater pulling power into the redstone lamp. Now if we increase the signal, the, it will go too farther from the lever and it will power the second repeater. It will also go two away in this direction and power the first piston, thereby turning off the signal from the first repeater. And now if we increase it to three, we'll also see the third repeater powering on as well as the second piston. So if you are paying attention, you'll know that all we need to do is to offset the input, that whatever signal comes on is going to power the appropriate repeater as well as power the piston in the block before, thereby turning off all the previous signals and producing an appropriate signal isolation. So as you see, this one works the same way and we're gonna look at the components. First, we have this adjustable lever which gives us a variable signal strength from zero to 15. And then we have a line of redstone dust that's 15 long to account for the maximum signal strength. And finally, I have these redstone links lined up and color coded with different colors so that whatever signal strength we get, we are transmitting it to a very specific redstone link on the other end. And I have these two mirrors here. So let's look at the left where you see the bottom floor is matching. You see this white, orange, etc. So why don't I actually go ahead and reset the signal to zero so that I can show you how it works from the beginning like we did with the other signal strength detector. Decoder, I need to start saying that right. So if we flick it onto one, you'll see the yellow wool receiver activates and it activates the first repeater. But if we give it a signal strength of two, now you'll see the orange receiver work and send a signal and you'll also see an orange receiver placed on the first block here to activate the piston. So all I'm doing here is offsetting the colors. For the first row, we have exactly the same things matching. And then up here, right next to the pistons, we just get rid of the white one and then offset everything, leaving the last one empty. And this gives us a fully functional signal strength decoder. I didn't think it would work really well at first, but it uh, turns out that the concept is really simple and it even helped me understand signal strength decoders a lot better. And as you see, I can keep flicking them on and they keep switching. Now, there's something that's really worth mentioning here, which I brought up early in the beginning, is that as you see, I have two receivers, two signal strength decoders receiving a signal from the same source. This means that you can expand the use of signal strength decoders. You can build multiple of them around your base to do the same thing based on certain combinations. You can have one be offset with the colors being different so that you can actually add further password protection to certain things. 
And I also have these buttons placed on the sides of these redstone links to show you that we can also use them to send a direct signal with a certain button. So we can make combination locks or we can make things that respond specifically to the button. We can make games, we can make a number of different things. I, I really think that this is a very versatile creation that can fit in a lot of contraptions considering the fact that you can reduce the size of the decoder to just this line of redstone and redstone links and then do the decoding somewhere else. I think that is always a good option to have if you want to build something compact and you don't have room for a decoder or you want to do something where the decoder is just not visible. So I feel like I have talked a lot. I hope that I've said some useful things here and that you've enjoyed this video. Another thing that I'm including due to popular demand is the schematic. So now you can actually go down in the description and find the link to a file that you can just take these decoders and put them in your world using a right click uh, schematic or you can use the schematic cannon to have a really cool animation as they're getting built. So finally, I want to say that if you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button so you see what I come up with next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.